Well, Des Van Royen claims his appointment as finance minister in December 2015 was not meant to facilitate theft at Treasury on behalf of former President Jacob Zuma. Van Royen has been testifying at the state capture inquiry. He's been granted permission to cross-examine former Treasury DG Lungisa Fuzile. Fuzile previously testified that Van Royen instructed him to appoint Gupta Associates during his tenure at Treasury. Michael Apple is covering the story for us. He joins us now live. So, Michael, the evidence leader got straight into the appointment of Van Royen's special advisor. Tell us more about that. So, Advocate Garth Hulley, um, getting straight to the point, how is it that Ian Whitley and Mohammed Bobat were appointed as special advisor and chief of staff when it appeared on Lungisa Fuzile's version, the former uh, director general in Treasury, that Mr. Van Royen had no clue who these gentlemen were, even confusing them, unable to uh, pronounce their names, not sure who was his chief of staff and who was his special advisor. So the inference that's drawn there is that they were parachuted upon Des Van Royen from, surprise, surprise, the Guptas. And so in exactly trying to figure out how they were appointed, Advocate Hulley asks some very pertinent questions that any reasonable person would ask about potential candidates to fill such strategic positions. Listen in. Your testimony is that within the ANC you're always pursuing excellence. Correct. And in the pursuit of excellence, with the name of a, a person who has told you that he has uh, certain qualifications. You've never seen his CV. You've never verified whether his, the information that he's given you is correct. You then offer that person a job as the special advisor to the Minister of Finance. That's what you're saying. But also, maybe to add on what you are saying, as someone who has demonstrated through my engagement with him that he understands the subject matter. The Deputy Chief Justice also voiced some concerns about Van Royen's choice of special advisor, didn't he? Yeah, so Mo Bobat used to work for Regiments Capital. Regiments Capital, um, Mr. Van Royen himself said he knows the name because it was bandied about in the media, well known for malfeasance, being tied to the Guptas, etc. And the man he would choose to be his special advisor would come directly from Regiments. And that would seem a bit strange. So. Why take somebody from a company that's implicated uh, allegedly in wrongdoing? Why do it so quickly? Why not check his CV? Uh, why only meet with him twice in six years? Once in 2009 in a restaurant, and then on the day that you are sworn in as minister. That hardly qualifies anybody to be a special advisor to you. And then the Deputy Chief Justice just driving home the point. Listen in. There must be many people some of whom within the ANC, I have no doubt, who would qualify and have experience in relation to financial matters who could, from whom you could uh, make your choice. Why did you confine yourself to this person that, uh, as I say it, you might have a different view, you, 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 whose background you don't know much? About. Chair, I, I had no time because remember I had to, to hit the ground running. Uh, so I had to prioritize some positions uh, in my office so as I can hit the ground running. Hit the ground running for a very short stint, didn't he? We're going to leave it right there. Michael Apple.